One of the most common bonding patterns in chemistry and nature is the six carbon ring. Sometimes these rings can exist as a conjugated system. This means a series of double bonds separated by a single bond. In this example, I'll add an R group to each carbon to complete their octet. Recall, an R group is a carbon atom or some carbon chain. This conjugated six carbon ring is called an aromatic functional group. It can also be called an arene functional group. In this lecture, let's review some of the characteristics of the aromatic functional group. Let's substitute each R group with a hydrogen atom. This gives the simplest molecule with the aromatic functional group, benzene, C6H6. Note, each carbon is sp2 hybridized. Since each carbon is sp2 hybridized, the geometry around each carbon atom is trigonal planar. Here is the ball and stick model. You can think of the ring as flat on a plane. Of course, the unhybridized p orbitals are perpendicular to the plane. It is in these orbitals that you'll find the pi bonds or pi electrons. You can think of the pi electrons as around the top of the plane. Let's continue using benzene as our example. But to make our view simpler, I'll use the line angle structure. Recall, in line angle structures, we assume that there's a carbon atom at the end of a bond line or the corner. And we assume there's enough hydrogen to complete the octets. So I'll remove the hydrogen. Of course, any non-hydrogen atoms must be drawn in. Conjugated systems exhibit resonance. You can find my lecture on resonance here and in the description. The pi electrons can be drawn or moved between adjacent carbon-carbon bonds around the ring. Here is the new resonance structure. Of course, the actual structure is a hybrid of the two. Here is the resonance hybrid. The pi electrons are actually delocalized around the ring in the unhybridized p orbitals. Again, you can think of the pi electrons around the top of the trigonal planar ring. The broken lines represent that each carbon-carbon bond exhibits a partial double bond. You can think of these as bonds with a length between a single bond and a double bond length. Some textbooks will represent the hybrid with a circle in the center of the hexagon ring, with the circle representing the six pi electrons. Let's close with an introduction to some simple molecules with the aromatic functional group that all organic chemistry students should know. I've already introduced the simplest aromatic molecule, benzene. When a single methyl group substitutes a hydrogen, the molecule is called methylbenzene. But this molecule also has a common name which is mostly used among chemists. This is toluene. Another common molecule is hydroxybenzene. When a hydroxy, or OH group, is bonded to the aromatic ring, this molecule usually goes by its common name, phenol. Finally, an amino group, NH2, bonded to the aromatic ring is called aminobenzene, but usually goes by its common name, aniline. <laughs>